Hello, it's me again, Bridget. I bet you remember me from the how to measure video. Now, before you start installing, please watch this. Hello, my name's Abby and I am a DIY expert. Today I'm going to show you everything you need to do before installing your blinds. Just so you know, you'll need around 10 to 20 minutes for this installation. For large blinds over 2.5 metres, we recommend having a second person to help you. Firstly, you need to make sure that your window, floor and hands are all very clean. Then scan the QR code on your product box, which will take you to the DIY Blinds website. Please make sure all the pieces in front of you match the list on that page. If they do, you're good to go. If not, contact us on 1300 918 390. Now get the following tools ready. You'll need a step ladder, a metal tape measure, a cordless drill with a Phillips head and 3 mil drill bit, a pencil and potentially a stud finder. Before drilling into any surface, there are a few things you need to work out. If you're drilling into wood, you'll need to pre-drill the holes and use the screws provided. If you're drilling into plaster, you have two options. The first option involves using a stud finder to locate where the wall studs are. Your second option is to use Ramset 10 mil hollow wall anchors, as these will help secure your blinds brackets to the plaster. You can also fix into concrete, stone, brick or tile as long as you use a masonry drill with the appropriate plugs, anchors and screws. When it comes to deciding which side you want the chain to be on, it's best to remind yourself by looking at your email receipt. Once you're 100% clear about what you need to do, please continue. But if there's anything you're not sure about, give DIY Blinds a call so we can help. Hello again! Oh, I do like an audience. Now, as I've said before, I'm an expert oppressing her, but I'm definitely not a DIY expert, which is why DIY Blinds have asked me to show you how quick and easy it is to install your blinds. First, lay the blinds in order from left to right with your roll direction the right way. Next, put your brackets next to them in order. Mark and attach your end brackets. For a recess fit, this is at the top corners inside your frame. Allow 10mm of clearance out from your window pane and allow for any obstructions. For a face fit, a face fit for a prince. <laughs> Sorry, I got a bit carried away there. <laughs> for a face fit, lift each bracket into position and mark two dots where the screws will attach. This will be on the top corners of your window or door frame on the front of the frame. If you don't have architraves on your window, allow 35 mil out from each side and 70 mil above the top of your window pane. Now, drill two holes where you mark the dots and secure each end bracket with the screws provided. Mark your middle brackets by picking up a roller blind with the chain drive. Slot the other end into the easy link bracket. Slot the chain end into the chain drive bracket on your window or door frame. Hold your bracket in place. Mark two dots where you'll screw the easy link bracket into your frame. Attach your middle bracket where you marked the two pencil dots securing the easy link bracket with the screws. Pick up a roller blind with a chain drive again and gently slot the chain end into the chain drive bracket. If you have three blinds, repeat the previous steps and mark the position of your middle blind and easy link bracket. Checking your blind isn't too tight between the brackets. Check that the hood over the chain is at 12 o'clock and the Acmeda logo is at six o'clock. You can always remember it like this. I always get changed into my matinee costume at 12 and my evening performance at six. And don't forget, your blinds need to be rolled up to the same open position before you click them in. Lift your blind into the easy link bracket. For pin end brackets, you'll hear a click when the blind is securely inserted. Next, we need to make the blinds child safe. Do this by clicking the P-clip onto the bottom of the chain loop. 
Hold it into position and mark dots where it will attach to the frame or wall. The chain should hang down with minimal tension. Now, screw the P-clip onto your frame or wall. <laughs> I'm really getting the hang of this. <laughs> I could see myself having a second career in set design. <laughs> anyway, if you have two chains, repeat the previous steps. Now, if you're installing face fit blinds, you need to slide the two bracket covers onto the outside of each end bracket. Lastly, adjust where you want your blind to roll down by grabbing your ball stopper and clicking it into the very top of the chain that's closest to you. Again, repeat this step if you have a second chain. Your beautiful blind should now be installed. Does anyone know a glazier? Blinds easy to measure, DIY blinds. Oh. If you need any more help, just sing out on 1300 918 390.